have you ever heard that birthing rooms are messy? And they're inconvenient? And things happen you don't like? And things happen that people can feel discouraged or they're talk about irritable. I've run into more irritable people this morning. And I was, I actually was one of them. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's, uh, doesn't surprise me. So when, you know, when you've got this anticipation and this hope and a lot of cool things happening, do you know the devil doesn't sit back and go, well, go for it. Enjoy yourself. He, he shows up and tries to then discourage you. So how do you, get, how do you know that God will show up if things don't feel like He's there? You show up. When you show up, God shows up. And we are constantly looking for, for, for perfect atmospheres. Perfect atmospheres, but the light belongs in the darkness. And when God was birthing the earth, He had to come into the situation and hover over chaos. He didn't go into a Hawaiian beach and say, okay, I think I'll add a couple flowers. Okay? Okay. And one of the things that happens is the kingdom of God always starts like a little seed. So I also, not, not having faith for, but I anticipated, all right, there's significant things happening. This church here, we just, as a body, we are, as you know, over the last two weeks we've been talking about it, we are birthing something. We're birthing something new. We're birthing something fresh. And birthing rooms are messy. And, you know, and there's going to be revelation and there's going to be truth. And there's going to be freedom and all of the, the, these those things here. But do you know that when the guy I used this illustration a couple of weeks or three weeks ago, when the guy is running down the, the to the goal line and he's got the ball and he's running. Do you know that there is opposition that tries to stop him? He's not he can have the he can have the vision of the goal line in mind. And he can see, all of a sudden he realizes, wait a minute, I'm a runner. Oh, this feels good. I'm a runner. I've discovered that I'm a runner. And uh, then, well, he's got opposition that goes, oh, is that so? Well, let me, let me knock you on your butt and see how much of a runner you are. And, and he knocks you and you fall on your backside and you go, now you've got a choice when you're on. I mean, if you can hear pr- prophecy... You can hear things coming out of my spirit right now. All right? When you're on your backside, that's when you have the choice. Are you going to choose to get up and keep running? Or are you going to say, oh, I'm not a runner after all? You get up. And then, what you do? You practice more drills. You go through the practice again the next week, and the coach is with you. And you become, uh, you, you get a little bit better at your strategy and your running and all of those things. But you show up then for the practice rather than saying, ah, it's just a pipe drive. Hopeful thinking. I thought I was a runner. I ain't a runner because I got knocked down. I ain't a runner because I got knocked down. So we're here today in the middle of a birthing in the nation as well as a church. Did you realize that the devil is already in checkmate? People will have you believe that the devil's winning. He's not winning. He's already in checkmate. Yeah. He's already in checkmate. He, he already has lost the battle, but he's just got so much pride he won't lay down. So if he can't win the battle, then he tries to get God's kids to feel like they've lost so they won't run. So I just, I, I'm just here to encourage you today that as we are together for the next couple of hours, that, that we're in a time and we're saying, yes, Lord, we're in a time of birthing. And I'm in a time of transformation. And transformation is always from lesser to better. It's always from lesser to better. And uh, so, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let, let's just... 
Yeah, let's just let's just pray into that. See, this isn't just hopeful thinking. Oh yeah, you guys are just you know you you're just glass half. Yeah, you're glass half full people, aren't you? You know, you just uh, you just throw out all this hope because well, you know, you just like to be hopeful. I mean, nothing's ever going to really change, but you just like to be hopeful, and so it just makes people feel better in their pain. Wrong, oh bucko. See, we are already winners in Christ Jesus, not by ourselves. We show up. We don't do the work, but we show up. He does the work, but he can't do anything with people that don't show up. So as we sh- as we are showing up, I'm I. You know what? There's going to be some cool things happening here today as we're together. Oh man, oh man, he, man, he's already shown me. He, oh man, it's already it's already there. This isn't the uh, you know. If you're approaching, yeah, I mean, okay, Can, I, I want to make a declaration over you. Uh, is that all right? Well, I don't, I mean, I'm asking your permission. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> if you say no, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> and I believe that the Lord is saying to you this morning and saying to us to, to, this morning that we are in a season of up close and personal where God is becoming up close and personal. And he says that we've known him and about him from afar up until now in these days. But now these are the days of up close and personal. And God is making himself up close and personal. And you are beginning to return to the days of Adam when he met with God in the excitement of his up and close and personal contact. For it's no longer knowing about God at a distance, but it's a day of getting to know Him and becoming acquainted with Him up close and personal. Because He's always been an up close and personal God. Always. And it's always been His desire to be up close and personal. Always been His desire to be up close and personal. And so as he is up close and personal, then he's calling you to say, all right, Lord, you're up close and personal. Now I'm going to be up close and personal. And I'm going to approach you as the up close and personal God rather than the dictator of religious experience.